and go. Everything seasoned evenly. And you're gonna have to do front and back. Now, sweet pepper or red pepper is one that you have to go off of choice of spice because this can get really hot if you do not know how spicy red pepper is. Oregano as well. So it's just good for the good herbs on top. We got some butter in between to give it some more good juicy yumminess. Now again, like I said, on the garlic and the onion, you want to put a decent amount. Mm. You want to really flavor it. And then it's up to you. If you got any other add-ins that you like, some people like real good cayenne pepper, but we're substituting red pepper. Some people like jerk. We sometimes use jerk. I'm still debating on this one, so then I'm going to flip these over. And we also have thyme on this. So I've been pulling the leaves off and putting them on the salmon because then I'm going to bread it. I'm doing something different. We're going to bread it in Ritz crackers. See how that works out. So we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> a little smoky for a second, but it was no big go. deal. <laughs> so now we're um, frying our salmon. We okay. just sauteed a little bit of egg that we're going to use for our fried rice. We have the rice right here about to go down, and we got our veggies that we're gonna then add into the rice for round two prep. So finished product here, we got some sauteed veggies, onions and zucchini, red pepper, and a little bit of Italian dressing or seasoning with a little pinch of salt because we didn't have any sea salt. We made some fried rice here, onions and just seasoning and egg in there. And then we got our fried salmon here breaded with Ritz crackers as a thin crust on the outside. Bam!